Hey guys, so yesterday I did this uh, video remembering a little bit the PSP, uh, the PlayStation Portable. Uh, that actually got me thinking about searching for like an emulator in the Google Play Store on Android on my Mate 9. Uh, so I actually found one which was pretty interesting. It's called PSP Gold. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a link down below if you wanna check it out for yourself. Now this one is not free. I think there are some other ones also that is free, but I checked this one out, I installed it. And so let's just fire it up here a little bit quick. Okay, so basically how this is gonna work is you can download uh, ISO files of the um, you know games for PSP so if I just go down here I downloaded Ridge Racer so I'm just gonna pop that one up and I, I just want to check it out here a little bit quick and uh, yeah just because that is a little bit interesting I think so the funny thing is when I first started up this game here I thought this was the game it was like, is this Ridge Racer really? Did I download the wrong thing? Because I do remember playing Ridge Racer, Ridge, Ridge Racer on the PSP 3000. But it just you need to tap on select here. So uh, I'm just gonna jump straight into it. And you'll be able to see pretty quick here, just for demonstration, how how it runs. So I'm just gonna go to single race, and you'll be able to select the different ones. Let's see what happened there. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go to default. Okay, that looks good. And of course, it's not the PSP wasn't a touch screen, so this doesn't work like that. So let's see how this one runs. Three, two, one, go! Stop fooling around. Let's race. So the first thing that you will notice here is how good it runs. I mean, Three laps to go. this runs extremely good. You can though hear okay, some uh, problems with sound sometimes. You know, it sounds super strange sometimes. And the cool thing with this game, of course, was the drifting capabilities. And the good, the nice thing here with like these PSP games is they don't have any annoying in-app purchase or anything like that, that you see today in all of the games on phones it's just like it's too spammy so if you really want that like nice pure experience uh, an emulator is pretty interesting actually let's see and the cool thing with this game i remember was like really like that drifting side to it and uh, the games for the PSP, it was like 800 megabytes, but then when you download it in a RAR file, then it's like 500 megabytes. But I gotta say, I'm still impressed with how good it looks. I mean, it looks like better, even better than some of the phones these days, I gotta say, in terms of graphics. I mean, it, it really is 2017 standard, I gotta say, on the graphics uh, that Sony uh, already had back then. So we can kind of see that it hasn't really happened that much, I gotta say, to be honest, in, 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 the, um, in the graphics side on phones. I mean, they haven't really innovated that much uh, by, by releasing a lot of heavy or cool games. Mostly what they've been doing is focusing on making money uh, and by releasing these very basic games where they, they pretend you are stupid and you have to go through a tutorial every time you open up the app. Two, laps to go. Two more laps to go! <laughs> yeah. And the audio wasn't really that major of an issue, like, oh, I like, I love that. That is really, like, good, um, good, um, 
What was I gonna say? Can I go back? How does this work? I'm not sure how to go back. Turn around. Yeah, but how do I go back? Hey man, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, there we go. Uh, but yeah, quick video use. Checking it out here because it's pretty interesting to check out an emulator here. I have in the past checked out like Nintendo 64 emulators and other phones, but fun to check out something on the new Mate 9. So yeah, just a quick little video checking that out. Hopefully you did enjoy and have a great day. Yeah, peace.